Hey everyone, this is Charlie of Fence Formation again. Here we are out on the water doing some jig fishing for some northern smallmouth bass. Basically just uh, casting into a rocky area here and dragging along the rocks in about anywhere from 5 to 18 feet of water. Uh, as you can see here, I'm stripping some line off my reel to allow the jig to fall vertically instead of at an angle. This is a better presentation because a lot of times they'll hit it on the, on the fall. And um, right here I, I get a bite. If you watch the upper third part of my rod, boom, there it goes. Set the hook and he wasn't there. You'll see this again in slow motion. Again, watch the upper third of my rod. I'm starting to get better at detecting these bites because I'm fairly new to jig fishing. There it was right there. Here's the classic fixing a bird's nest and getting a bite immediately after. I know if you're any type of bass fisherman, you've had this happen to you before. There we go. Fixing the line, checking if the GoPro's on and there she was. I love how hard smallmouth bass fight. I, for most of my time fishing, I've, I've been a largemouth bass fisherman and just recently I've really gotten into the smallmouth and they, they just fight so much harder pound for pound. It's a great time. And this is also the first official boat flip in the new boat. There she was. And yeah, there it is on the jig. Here's my little uh, net man. He needs to sniff every fish. This was also his first time out on the boat, so it was a really it was a really fun time having him out there. He did a great job. Didn't bark at any any other dogs on the shore, and yeah, there he is inspecting. Says that's a good fish, Dad. Yep, there's the jig right there. Uh, later on in the video, I'll have a clip of me showing the tackle that I used. And uh, here we are again, just taking a cast in a similar area. Uh, lots of chunk rocks, some bigger boulders that are out there and I'm just dragging it along, giving it some hops and right there, had another bite. This is also a different day. This is only four days later from that first fish. So I've, I've been trying to pick the jig up more consistently each time I go out because I know come winter time, this is gonna be a technique that I'm gonna be using a lot, just slow dragging a jig in deeper water. These are smaller fish that I'm catching on these first couple ones, but that's the great thing about a jig, especially a jig this size, is you can catch numbers, but you can also catch some size. And this next fish coming up, this was the biggest one that I've had in the boat so far. It was uh, two and a half pounds and a really nice fish. I think she wanted that uh that bomber baits jig <laughs> nice all right so for the tackle for this video i used the same jig on all three fish this is a three thirty seconds bomber baits ned jig i uh i trimmed the it's got a single wire weed guard on it that i trimmed off and uh super sharp hooks then on the back for a trailer i have a rage tail uh Rage Ned Bug by Strike King. The rod was just a bionic blade, Bass Pro Shops casting rod, seven foot, medium power fast action, and a Shimano SLX DC with 12 pound test copolymer Iser line on it. And yeah, that's uh, like I said, that's what I used for all three fish in the video. Pretty sweet setup. Check out Bomber Baits on Instagram. Cool dude, local guy. Well, that's it for today's video. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's kind of a new format with the voiceover. Just trying something new. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at finsformation. Also check out Bomber Bates on Instagram. Local guy up here in the Pacific Northwest, Washington State. Makes some awesome jigs. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.